I met Bruce uh, one night at Upstage. This was the summertime. I can't remember the year, but it was definitely summertime. And uh, I had been going to Upstage because I didn't know the, the musicians on that scene. You know, I, I now was sort of fresh to it. I used to go to Upstage and dance, frankly. You know, I was into dancing back in those days and I would like, you know, I would go to Upstage and dance. It was kind of part of the club was a folk club. And then above that floor was a psychedelic kind of, you know, full on thing. So I had met Gary Talent um, maybe a couple of weeks before at a recording session for somebody. And we hit it off right away. And uh, I walked one night because I didn't have a car or a bicycle or anything. So my town where I lived is about eight miles from Asbury Park. So I decided I was just going to walk. It was a beautiful summer night. It's an eight mile, a straight line of eight miles. You know, it was not a problem. It was great. You know, I'm like, you know, a healthy teenager. So I get to upstage and I walk in and Bruce and Gary are standing at the top of the stairs and they're organizing a jam session for the next round of, of music. Cause the place used to open at like, uh, God, I think, I don't know, nine o'clock and then close at midnight and they kicked everyone out and they would open up again at like one o'clock until five in the morning, something crazy like that. So they were organizing this jam session. I get up top of the stairs. I say hi to Gary. Gary introduces me to Bruce. Bruce says, hey, you know, nice to meet you. We're, not, we're um, organizing a jam session for the next, you know, session. Do you want to sit in? I said, yeah, absolutely. And that was really it. That was the first night we actually met. I'd seen him play before because he was way famous locally, <clears throat> way before he had a recording contract or anything. But uh, that was the first night we met and first night we, uh, we played together. What do you remember most about that night, about that first jam session? Well, what I remember was it was really long. It went on and we basically went on until we closed the place, different people coming up and down. But um, I think I tried to stay up there as long as I could because <laughs> <laughs> it was great. We we're having a great time. And um, what I remember about it, though, and I think it was the same night. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, we're all walking home now. The place is five in the morning. The sun's coming up. Summertime in, in Asbury Park, and we're walking to our cars or bikes or you know however we're going to get home. And uh, I'm walking next to Bruce, and he says, "You know, I'm about to break up uh, this band I have. He had a very popular band called Steel Mill, and he said, you know, I'm I'm going to stop doing that soon. I'm going to do something really different. Uh, would you like to like you know be in it? Do you want to like play keyboards in it?" Uh, I said, absolutely, yeah. And uh, I was fresh out of school, you know. I actually dropped out of high school in the middle of my third year, which reasons I won't go into, but, which I do not suggest, kids, <laughs> stay in school. No, don't follow my example. <laughs> Special situation. But uh, yeah, and that was, that was it. And that was the beginning of us, you know, you know um, playing together. And then... Um, Clarence came into our lives, and you know that was a whole other beginning of another phase. And all that. There's there's quite a bit of mythology about you know uh, Clarence's arrival at the yeah. uh, the club that night. Yeah, I, I know. How, was, how, how much of it is real? How much of it is, is you know kind of grown in stature? I'm going to say that probably the weather was real. Like it probably <laughs> really was a stormy <laughs> kind of crazy night. <laughs> But I must have been looking somewhere else when the door blew off. <laughs> I, I didn't see that. I don't remember that. But it could well have happened. It could well have happened. So, yeah. but uh, yeah.